Let's do it! <laughs> Hey everybody, my launch order from Erin Condren just arrived and I'm ready to dive into it. So let's open this up and get a huge box of the way. So I'm expecting this thing to arrive tomorrow. And I looked online and saw that it actually arrived yesterday. Yesterday poured, oops. Uh, yesterday there was pouring rain all day and it was left at my doorstop. So I hope that there is nothing damaged. Let's see if I can pull everything out. And we can leave the box. All right, so I haven't opened this yet. There is a tear, but I've not yet opened the tissue with the Enjoy sticker. Does anybody else like that this hasn't really, that this is like their old, logo from I started doing this in 2014 I don't know about you guys but I do like the the, the rainbow dots and the asterisk and this font and it looks like they, it never changed so I don't remember what I ordered let's dig in um I don't know how zoom works sorry I'm new all right so date dots which are part of another thing one? Yes. Okay. So the date dots go with this, which is the parent planner. And I have another video about it. I think this is like the hidden gem of the Erin Condren universe. One of my very favorite things. It's got school info for your kids and I don't know, some probably other stuff in here. One, two, three, four. It's got for four children, right? Um, and then some contact information, your six boxes. This is a three month undated calendar and it's seven by nine spiral bound. And then it's, um, see so it's undated. So it just has the month. You can fill that in. And then here's what I like. You can use this for one day on one page, one day on two pages, kind of whatever you want. Um, to keep up with many, with, with, with uh, several people's schedules. I usually use it as a great big running to do list on days or weeks when I just have a massive amount of stuff to do. I pull out a page of this and I have, you know, things to do for my nine to five job, things to do for any kind of a side gig that I may be doing or contract work, things to do for home. And then I can keep all these things straight. Um, so I did this every day for quite a while for work and really liked it. I'm using something different right now, but I did definitely want to get one of these because it's one of my very favorite Erin Condren products and nobody talks about these things enough. Um, trackers, it's got reading logs in here because again, it's for uh, parents. Trackers for whatever, chore charts. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used a chore chart that worked yet for myself or for my children. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, reading logs, chore charts, and then some other kind of tracker. So I got that. My favorite colors are red and turquoise. And then because it is undated, it comes with these date dots. Are they all silver? No, it's mixed metallics. And then it also comes with a package of monthly tabs. And it's two... It's 24 tabs, so yeah, two years worth. Um, unless they're considering January to be the front and back. I don't remember. So, I got that. That is thing one that I got. This is, I think this is my rose gold gift. I didn't order um, launch things until the teacher planner launched. So, this is the rose gold gift that was left. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm not unhappy about it at all, though. I am not a floral person. My daughter is a giant floral person. So I do want to try this, though. Ooh, it writes well. Oh, 
Okay, so, oh, it's got the little asterisk. I don't know if you can see it on there or not. Um, ballpoint pen that twists up and down. I don't like clickies, the noise bothers me. Uh, but it writes super duper well. So this is a go in your purse pen for me. It's totally what I call these. Pens that are not 10 or 15 or more dollars each, but they write well. Those go in my purse, even in case I lose them, I won't be horrifically upset. What all? I don't know. Oh, this is, I got a teacher planner and I got it on teacher planner day one. So I have this multicolored uh, lanyard thing. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with it. Um, my daughter does not have to wear a name badge to school. She might next year. My son does. I feel like this is not going to be something he's interested in. Um, and then I work from home, so I don't have to have one, but I will find a use for it somewhere. If you're using it for, for something interesting, let me know. Here is, oh, the life planner. So guys, I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth about buying one of these. Um, so glad I waited until the pride collection came out because, oh, can you just, can you see the shimmer on here? I love absolutely everything about this. Love it to pieces. So, okay, I know that this doesn't at all go with this, and I'm okay with that. I never look at this. It's pretty vellum, and I love it that they include it, but I never look at it. But I wanted, hopefully this one is super duper neutral. Yeah, so I wanted this layout because I wanted really, really neutral. So I use the vertical for memory keeping. I use the vertical for a glorified sticker album. Who are we even kidding? Um, I have never gotten, I didn't get the flora last year. Let's look at the colors. I did not get the flora last year. So I am unfamiliar with this like mauve and purple. That purple's pretty. That blue is also really pretty. I tend to gravitate towards um, cool colors as opposed to the warm ones. And then a taupey color. And then it starts over again. So let's see what there is. I just flip to one at random. Um, I know people talk about the fonts. I don't really pay attention to them actually. Like as long as it tells me what it is, I would never even notice the font um, that they had in there. I appreciate them taking all the time and care to make it look really beautiful. But as long as it tells me the day, it would never occur to me that the font, what the font even was. The dashboard page, I don't typically use actually. Um, I don't flip to it, so I don't bother decorating it. I've tried. And just, I never really used it. So I kind of just stopped trying actually. So here is their, uh, the layout. I do like this. I know it's like, people don't really like it, but I use, um, I like to mark which week of the month it is. Um, so excited about this. I used colorful. Yeah. I'm currently using colorful. It runs out in June. This one I think begins in July. And so I'm not sure about these dark, dark lines on there. And if I will have to white out, I hope that I don't. Um, I very rarely do that. This is also super dark. So I may have to do that on this one, but I would prefer not to have to do that. Flip on these. And then there's one notes page that is colored for the next month. April, May, June, to go through the, is it July through July? What did I do? Yeah, I guess I got July through July. And it's the whole month of July. Oh, so it's a 13 month calendar. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 note pages, a page of different um, holidays, the contact page they never, never use, and next year's calendar, which I do find really helpful. Um, I have in the past 
would use these to line up what kits I wanted to use for the next year. If there was anything in particular I wanted to use. Um, that's when I bought kits way in advance and didn't have subscriptions. That's not the case now, so I don't plan kits super far in advance anymore. And then, oh, a page of these neutral stickers. These are my daughter's colors. This is so very her. I prefer brights. She is a pastels kind of girl. So I feel like she is going to get these and will quite like them. Ooh, I do like those though. What color is that rose gold? That's really pretty. I like those a bunch. And then the pocket here has yeah, silver, platinum, whatever they call it. Oh, and then the perpetual calendar. Um, I don't use it for this anymore because my job doesn't require driving. Uh, but when I did, I would just keep this tucked in um, over the visor of the passenger seat and I would just keep up with my mileage in there so that I could uh, put it in for reimbursement or put it in on my taxes was what I would usually use one of these for. So it was super handy and it would be like disgusting by the end of the year. Um, but yeah, I used it for that and really liked it. This, honestly, like this cover the, in the Pride collection is the thing that made me push the button and go ahead and get a life planner this year. I freaking adore it. Adore it. All right, this is, you're going to get some planner ASMR. And I don't know how this, let me zoom out. Because I finally broke down and got a planner bag. Oh, and I got the gray. This is um, canvas, not the suede one. And I kind of super like it so far. So the inside of it is a really light gray. Okay, it's so weird, but can I tell you how much I love that? If the inside of a purse is black, I don't like it. I can't see what's going on in there. I can't find my stuff. So I do like bags that have a light lining on the inside of them. So this is for keys. Um, I usually am not with it enough to actually put them on there. Um, I'm just not that person. I wish I could be that person, but I'm just not. A zipper in here, a giant zipper in there. That was aggressive, wasn't it? Um, there's a elastic pouch for a water bottle. And then a couple of pouches, I'm guessing for phone and whatnot. And then it's really, really giant and deep. And so here's life planner. and parent planner and there's still like tons and tons and tons of room left and I got it with can you see it I got it with the um, leopard print crossbody strap they had several um, and so yeah this was the one that I thought I kind of liked the best with with this. Uh, I preferred it while being a little bit, uh, a little more neutral. So really, really excited to do this. I'm going to my very first planner conference um, next month. No, in July. I'm going to my very first planner convention in July. And so I got this to take all of my planner gear and I want to limit it to what I take to, oh wait, there's more. Sorry, squirrel. There's like secret pockets in here. That's really nice because then if you, if you carry things like stickers or pieces of paper, they probably won't get all crushed if they're just in there. And then if you're like me and kind of in the closet about being an adult who walks around with stickers, you can kind of hide them in there. I don't let everybody know about my stationary fetish. All right, I got one. One and a half more things. I got the teacher planner and I got the binder. So 
more ASMR. This is the Harmony Colorful. The inside of my life planner is Harmony Neutral. Oh, <laughs> I was like, this isn't very pretty. Well, that's because there's cardboard in it. That is significantly better, isn't it? Look at that. <clears throat> Pardon me. So gold hardware that looks like it's all together and isn't gonna do wonky things to the paper. Um, so yeah, this really pretty thing. And then here are the inserts. This is what I was most worried about because it was, I think I told you, sitting in the rain, but everything was wrapped really well and protected. So I don't think this, these are gonna bubble at all even. So super happy about that. I brought a pair of scissors. Yeah, I brought a pair of scissors with me, but my life is full of wrapping right now. Love this. Love this. All right, so as I'm opening, here's what I'm thinking, that this is going to be for my daughter's homework. Um, here's all the inserts. Now we're probably not, we're definitely not, definitely not going to put all of them in there at once. I will give her two or three months worth and probably not some of the like very specifically teacher things like classroom volunteers. Let's zoom in, huh? If I can, look at me. All right, so all about me and classroom volunteers with this really pretty, I love this. I did look for it in neutral and there are more options if you get the coiled version, but she's gonna have to take a binder to school. And so I didn't want to have to take that big, the teacher binders, I mean, look at this planner. It's really, really substantial. And I just think it's too much weight for to have to carry. Um, so I opted for the binder version. Um, and that was limited to Harmony Colorful. Sorry, took me a minute there. A communication log, again, probably not gonna go inside her, um, her binder this night. Uh, more communication. Oh, they duplicated this page. I got two of these, which makes me pretty happy, but if, if someone else didn't get it because I got two, I apologize for that. I wish I could share with you. So yeah, these pages will probably go in there, maybe just for a reference. I do like these. Um, I may go in and change them. Just, she starts in August. Um, and just do August, September, October, it just do first semester. And then we'll see if she uses it, then we'll move on from there. Um, graph paper. It's really pretty. I don't, I don't know if she's gonna need it for math, but I am not opposed to making copies of that. Oh, cause there's only two. Yeah, not, not opposed to making copies of it and let her having, you know, graph paper with a pretty header on it. And then, okay, so this is where August begins. I got an August start because her school begins then. Let's make this smaller. I was trying to be nice to zoom you guys in for something, but I don't know what it was. This is really big. So here's August with the bright, pretty yellow. And so this is in kind of the Erin Condren's standard colors. Um, I freaking love, I cannot tell you how much I love their full size monthly calendars. I, I, I love the paper. I love the giant squares. I love everything about it. This is, it's so bizarre that I have a favorite monthly calendar, but it is this one and it's this size specifically. So it's got the harmony in there and the color of the month and the next month's calendar, which I appreciate in there. So I don't know if how, she's gonna be in the fifth grade next year. So I think it's gonna be fairly similar to this one, she's not gonna have a lot of stuff to juggle because she, instead of having one teacher, she will have two. So there's a little bit of change in classes, but it's not like my son who's in high school. So we're just kind of inching toward that. This is what I love. 
Um, I love this layout for students. I know that this is specifically for teachers, but I love this layout for students because you can put each subject and then have the days that they're due. And I, I really like that. So I got these to go along with it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this in the middle of doing this because I want to. So I got these stickers. Did I get the right size? I did. So I know that the teacher planner comes in seven by nine this year. And so I think that the header stickers are probably gonna be two different sizes. So I'm glad that I did get the right ones. Um, and then for each subject, she color codes, she color codes her things by subject. So I did that with her preferred colors, even though this is colorful and it's gonna just be the monthly color code and she is gonna be fine with it, I promise. But I do super love this. A couple of notes pages. Oh, so three actually, because then it begins September. And so there's another notes page in the new color with this beautiful plum. I love the September. I like cool colors. So love, love, love this. It's cool colors, but it's nice and bright and there's really pretty saturation. And I love everything about it. Yeah, so we'll put the um, subjects up there and she can write it. I do wish, okay, and I'm not speaking things that I want them to create for me because like, I, I don't think I'm kind of worthy of that. Uh, but the student planner didn't have that horizontal layout. Instead, it had a layout like this one um, would, be, would be my preference. But the student planner seems to be a bit smaller and it's not just, you know, 80 pounds of book to carry around. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, September, let's move to October. Do these have, oh good, they don't have those um, quotes pages. Is that hateful of me? Look at that, that's pretty. And I don't usually like orange. It's not usually one of my favorites, but I do like this very, very much. And then, November, like my favorite color in all the world. This super pretty teal that they have in there. Oh, I'm just, I'm in love with all of it. In love with all of that. December, it has quotes about little teacher quotes up here, but they're pretty small. And I don't know how many months we will keep in there at one time. Two, maybe three, I'm guessing. Love January. Look at that gorgeous freaking color. I love everything about it. February's color, that aquamarine of March or mint, whatever it is, April, May. This is way more her than me. She likes the lighter colors and I like these super bright ones. And then, oh, look at July. So I don't love the navy, but I love how the light colors in there. I like that one and the way that they mix in there. So I really super like that. All right, so at the end of July, it has a couple of days of August and then some checklists that I don't think that we will need, but if she does for whatever reason, there we go. What else we got? Let's see. several of those. There's a bunch of those going on. All right. So a quotes page that we am sure will not use. Um, some school related stickers. I think these are really close. They may not be exact, but they're really close to the ones that they have had previously. So some functional ones, very specifically education related. I like the size of these. I really appreciate that they fit in the headers. Um, and I really do like that one. Also, these I love, they're a little larger than the ones, I say they're larger. Let me get the life planner. Have I lost it already? Look at me. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, I put it inside the um, planner tote. I wonder if these are inch and a half. I just want to compare it to 
these. No, these are the same width. Yeah, so these are the same width. You just get more colors and you get these pretty teal, which you don't get in the colorful there because there's 10 of them, I think. And so they leave that one out, uh, which is my absolute favorite one. So that's in there. And then, oh, that really thick, super nice uh, page protector. The top of it's crinkled a bit, but I bet I can straighten it out before August. Um, and honestly, I don't know if she's getting this one if I am. And these are the extra holidays that you can put in there. Um, so that they'll be kind of inclusive of everyone and you can choose which ones suit you. I appreciate that they do that. And they don't fill up every day with every possible holiday. Um, and you can kind of do a buffet for the ones that you celebrate and observe. And then here is the folder. This did, I don't know if it's crinkled because of the way it was wrapped or if it did get a little bit wet. I'm assuming it's just because it was wrapped and it curved up a little bit, but I really like this. So the colorful has the gold and then the neutral one has the silver for this pocket. And I wonder if, all right, so let's grab the pockets and see if just a page, a full eight and a half by 11 page fits in here. I don't think that it will. Yeah. No, not really. It's gonna be super tight when you put that in the rings. Um, so, but you know what probably will with no problem at all? Um, the lined paper, what's it called? The lined paper that you that you get for the kids to loose leaf. There we go. Loose leaf lined paper is a little bit smaller than eight and a half by eleven, and so I bet that would fit in there really well. And then again, I got these uh, math, science. What is this one? Social studies. Yes, yeah, social studies is yellow. Reading and then English or language arts. I made the blue color also vocab and spelling. Those are kind of related. And then. Um, the family one for purple and then weekends or if she has a project i put those in there also so that she can use those if i need to get more before school starts i totally can but honestly i got them just because i was kind of excited i'm not going to load this up now probably she will have a white binder because that's what they're going to require and then let me show you the goodies that i got this came with the life planner So I got, um, love this, and this has been the same since so I started getting Erin Condon in 2014. Little gift tags, and the, oh, the compliment cards are way different. Yeah, so um, what's the, fl the floral called this year? I don't know what the floral print is called. And then Harmony uh, Colorful and Neutral compliment cards are in there. That is it. I did want to look at the back of this parent planner really quickly. I didn't think to do that. I don't think it comes with stickers. I think instead of that, you get, no, it doesn't come with stickers in here. Instead, you get these stickers to date it. All right, so that is what I got for my Erin Condren launch. I'm super excited to start playing with it and show it to you guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And if you liked this, let me know and subscribe and join me again soon. Thanks, guys.